So what does a million dollars buy for you these days in Slow County, California? Well, in today's video, we're gonna jump into my computer and we're gonna look at a number of different homes that have sold for about a million bucks in different parts of the county. So you can decide whether or not moving here is the right decision for you and your family. So stay tuned. And if we have not met before, my name is Mark Willey. I'm a local real estate agent and mortgage professional. And I created this channel as it means to highlight all things great and sometimes not so great about living in Slow County, California. So without further ado, let's go check out these homes. All right, back here at my office and we're gonna jump into my MacBook. I'm gonna minimize myself here and I'm gonna show you the criteria that I'm inputting into my local MLS, grab my highlighter here. So we're focusing on single family homes sold in the last 90 days in San Luis Obispo County. 90 days there, so single family only, no condos, no manufacturers, just to keep it easy. And a price point between 950 and 1.1 million. And down here we see there's 59. So going back three months, there were 59 sales that meet that criteria. Let's see where they look on the map. And then we'll pick out, you know, like one or two homes in uh, some of the focal points of the county. Let's put me down there and zoom out. And we see that, oh, look at that. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So we've got, once again, the county is kind of drawn out like this, by the way. So Ragged Point out there off of Highway 1. San Miguel is a northern northern boundary on Highway 101. And then Shandon way out here east. And then all the way out here, this desolate area. New Kuyama is the southeastern tip. And then coming over here, just north of Santa Maria, is where the county line ends. And that is where we're going to start. So we're going to look at Napomo first and see what is sold there that meets that, that criteria. We'll talk a little bit about Napomo. It's a cool little town and I'll uh, highlight a really good steakhouse there that is top notch. So if you're into steaks and you like a good old uh, classic uh, steakhouse, then this is the, the spot for you. Okay, let's start with the uh, South uh, County city of Napomo. I like Napomo, it's a relatively small town, 18,000 give or take population, uh, 14 uh, square miles roughly. So not a big town at all, it's a rel relatively quiet. There's a number of things that I really like about Napomo. First and foremost is, is the steakhouse Jocko's. It is uh, one of the best steakhouses I have ever been to. Almost 4,000 uh, great reviews on Google. There are three really nice public golf courses. You got Cypress Ridge, Black Lake, and Monarch Dunes. And let's go ahead and take a look at what sold there that uh, met our criteria. And it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six sales. Let's go ahead and pick one from the list here that sold for right at about a million. So let's look at the, this guy right here on Humboldt Drive. And let's see what this uh, this one looked like. So it was only on the market, wow, look at this, only on the market for two days. So that one sold very quickly. Built in 04, three car garage, nice big lot, 18,000 square feet, three bed, two bath, uh, almost 2,400 square feet. Sold for a little bit above list price, so a million fifty thousand. Let's go and take a look at some photos, see what it looks like on the inside. So you kind of know what you get for a million bucks. Um, nice uh, desert landscaping there on the outside. A decent kitchen. Looks like it could be definitely uh, updated a little bit nicer than that, but definitely serviceable. Scrolling through, scrolling through. It's a little more on the dated side, but definitely livable once again. They have nice bathrooms, uh, pretty decent, nothing nothing uh, revolutionary. So that was just over a million dollars sold in four days. Nice big backyard, got RV hookups it looks like, a nice little storage shed, and so on. So that's house number one, and that was on Humboldt Drive for 1.05. Let's find another one. And that one was located right here, so down in the south part of the town, all right? So that sold for just over a million dollars. Let's find one over on the, on the golf course, 1.1, and just un, just over one million. Let's take a look at this one for 1.1. Napomo, Napomo for 1.1. Well, there's two of them. Well, let's look at the one on Jacqueline, Jacqueline Place. And that's gonna be right on the golf course as well. So that's in the trilogy 
division there. And <clears throat> get my trusty highlighter again. So this was on the market for quite a while. Look at that, cumulative 200 days on market. Eventually sold for 1.1 million. I bet it was priced higher than that. So going all the way back to, look at that, back in May, 1.22. Couple price reductions, eventually sold for 1.1 million. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. So this was a three bed, three bath, 2,300 square feet, small lot, 4,500 square feet, very small, uh, two-story house built in 08. Again, it was on the market for a long time. It was clearly overpriced, or maybe something else was going on. Let's look at the interior photos. Nice views of the course. A uh, good kitchen there. Doesn't look like it's been remodeled super recently, but definitely serviceable. You got the nice stove there. All right, so that is $1.1 million down from 1.2 and change. So that's kind of what a million plus will get you in Napomo uh, in the past 90 days. Let's go up uh, Highway 101 a little bit and check out San Luis Obispo. So leaving Napomo, let's jump on Highway 101 and go about 25 miles north up to San Luis. And here it is on the map. We leave Jocko's, boom, 101 north, as I said, takes about 25 minutes. There's very little traffic. Sometimes there's a little bit through Pismo Beach. But for the most part, the traffic around here is pretty minimal. I touched on that on one of my prior videos. Uh, San Luis Obispo, it's a cool little town. It is not only home to Cal Poly University, but uh, Oprah, back in 2011, she said it was the happiest city in America. I don't know if that's entirely accurate for everybody, but it is a great place in my opinion. Population is about 47,000. Um, the real estate prices will make you unhappy unless you are absolutely, lo absolutely loaded. You'll see what I mean by that. Let's look at the MLS data, minimize myself. So in the last 90 days, there were 13 homes sold in the uh, San Luis um, area. And um, and that's between the prices of 950 up to 1.1. What is uh, not surprising to me, if you guys know the real estate market around here, this is really where people would like to be. This historic downtown area where you can walk to all the restaurants and pretty much anything is just a, a five to ten minute walk if you're if you're fortunate enough to live in this region here but you'll see there was only two homes that sold within uh, that uh, that price range and just uh, for giggles let's look at uh, this one bed two bath that sold for nine hundred and fifty two thousand that is on Sandercock Street so let's go find it and uh, what were the specifics of this one it uh, sold in 17 days uh, for about 30,000, uh, not quite 30,000 above list price. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom with a converted garage to a little studio that has a three quarter bath. But look at this, holy moly, 952,000 bucks. Let's see what it looks like. And it has some lush veg vegetation on the outside it looks like. Again, it's 1300 square feet, built in 1974. Let's see what the updating looks like. Kitchen, small kitchen, decent appliances, nothing entirely, entirely beautiful about the kitchen. Let's go upstairs. Got a little bathroom upstairs. Oh, there's a creek running through the property. You might want to check if that's in a flood zone. I bet it is, um, which, gonna, which is going to increase the cost to purchase that or to uh, insure it if you have a loan on it. This is the converted garage. It's a little studio. Nicely done. Um, you got a little uh, back patio there. So that's what 950 will get you close to downtown San Luis Obispo. Let's see one more since that is pretty shocking, right? Let's go back to the map. And this is over here on Flora Street for 1.1. Let's go find this one. Let's see what happened with this one. So listed for 1.259, sold for 1.1. It was on the market for a while though. Look at that combined 130 days, just about four bedroom, one and a half bath. It looks like 1800 square feet, lot size 7,500. It's a two story property as well. Let's go ahead and see what the inside looks like. Views are nice. Photos are lousy. My goodness, very dated home. Holy moly, look at that. Look like looks like we're stuck back in the 60s, doesn't it? And that's for 1.1, completely dated not even close to downtown. 
This is a nice area um, right off of Johnson Road, but holy moly, 1.1 million sold in combined. It looks like four months. It was a trust sale. There's maybe some delays with the with the uh, trust, um, but there you go. So San Luis Obispo, not the place you want to go if you want to find a good deal, and that's relative to um, you know non-billionaires or non-super super millionaires. So. Let's move uh, out to the coast. Let's go look at, uh, where do we want to go? Do we want to go to Morro Bay or should we go up to uh, Cambria? Let's go over to Morro Bay and see what Morro Bay looks like for 950 to 1.1 million. Hey, if you're enjoying the content uh, in this video and you want to learn more about uh, everything Slow County, hit that subscribe button. It's kind of right about there and you'll be first to know anytime I uh, produce and uh, post new videos. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up that would really help the algorithm. So we're gonna jump on Highway 1 and leave San Luis Obispo to head over to Morro Bay. It is about between 15 and 20 minutes from downtown San Luis over here to Morro Bay, right over here along the coast. And Morro Bay is a cool little town. It's got a lot of, uh, it still has a little bit of funk to it in my opinion. So you got some very, very uh, modern, new modern homes, but a lot of the homes are you know, they've been there since the 50s and 60s without a lot of love. So let's take a look at a couple sales in the last 90 days. And there was only six, by the way. Um, population of Morro Bay is only about 11,000 people, give or take. So it's not a big uh, community by any means. Let's take a look at this pro property on Hemlock and see what that one looks like. This one sold in 35 days. So just over a month for 980, it was listed for just over a million. 1.02 it's a three bed two and a half bath 1900 square feet lot size is small 2800 two-story home one car garage built in 76 all right let's take a look at the photos so here we go 980 sold in a month Morro Bay you got some outdoor patios here it looks like you got some decent views you well, you got the rock so that's the big Morro Bay rock way over at the beach so that's looking west Got a decent view, nothing nothing extraordinary. And let's check out the inside. You got some nice uh, look, wood floors or, or laminate floors. Take a look at the kitchen, decent kitchen. Might have been remodeled in the last 10 years, perhaps. And there you go. That's upstairs, kind of a funky bathroom. Very serviceable. That might be a, a steam room, perhaps. What is that? I'm not quite sure, but anyhow. This is what 980 gets you in Morro Bay and sold in about a month. Let's take a look at another sale right here. 975, four bedroom, three bath. Let's look at this guy. Just under 1.1, three bed, two bath. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, listed for 989, sold for a million. 90, three bed, two bath, 1440 square feet. Lot size 7,200, two stories as well. Two car garage built in 75, sold in three days. Look at that, holy moly. And let's take a look at the photos. See what you get for just over a million bucks. And this was sold as is according to, to some of the notes. Big tree in the backyard, decent backyard. Let's see what the inside looks like. Scrolling, scrolling. Ooh, wow, look at that, that's definitely dated. Is that original 1970s? Looks like it. Yep, hasn't been touched since the 70s. Holy cow, for over a million bucks. Nice little backyard, but wow. Look at that. So there you go. Two homes in Morro Bay. Again, if you're looking for something that's, uh, you know, super upgraded and with a lot of amenities, Morro Bay for a million dollars, you're not gonna find it just like in San Luis Obispo, but hey, the weather's nice around here, right? And uh, let's go ahead and move up north. Uh, let's go up to Paso Robles where I spend most of my time and let's see what a million bucks uh, gets you there, all right? So let's hop on 101. Uh, well, let's hop on one, back on 101 over to uh, Paso Robles. So off to Paso we go and is it pronounced Paso Robles or is it pronounced Paso Robles? Uh, depending uh, where you're from or how long you've been living here, uh, it's pronounced both ways. If you speak any Spanish or if you want to pronounce it correctly, it's technically pronounced Paso Robles, but most people call it Paso Robles. So uh, don't yell at me over that. Um, depending uh, how, you, uh, how you want to pronounce it, that's up to you. So I'm a little bit jaded because I do live here. And uh, when it comes to 
all of the towns and cities in Slow County, uh, Paso is hands down my favorite place to be. And I'll tell you exactly, I'll give you free, a few reasons why I prefer it over anywhere else in the county. So to, uh, to get to Paso from Morro Bay, you can go down Highway 1 and then up 101, or you can cut across Highway 41 or 46. It's a little bit of a shortcut and that'll get you to 101. And it's about a 40 minute drive from downtown Morro Bay to Paso. And uh, let me touch on the reasons why I like Paso so much. Um, I think the, the quality of the restaurants is uh, by far better than anywhere else in the county. We have a tremendous amount of restaurants right down by the city park. This uh, uh, downtown plaza here is beautiful. They maintain it uh, immaculately. They decorate it for uh, the holidays. But uh, most of the good, great restaurants are right within you know, a three minute walk from the downtown city plaza. You have probably two dozen tasting rooms right in this little uh, area here. My two favorites, by the way, are <clears throat> Hayseed and Housden, which is back here on Railroad Street. And where is Ted? He is right here. So that's Ted. Great little spot, highly recommended. My other favorite, uh, one of my other favorites is Diablo Paso. That's Enrique's place. And he is right here on Park Street. And Diablo Paso, he does some amazing Spanish varietals. Highly recommended, but when you look at the map, I mean, there's just a tremendous amount of restaurants, tasting rooms, there's an amazing brewery. Um, they have a number of uh, good breweries, but my favorite one is going has to be Cal California Coast Beer Company right here. Great spots, uh, indoor and, and outdoor. They play the football games on Sundays. Uh, all of them, by the way. And uh, so that's why I love Paso. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. But when it comes to real estate, your your dollar goes further here, and you'll see what I mean uh, by quite a wide margin. So if we look at the results, how many homes sold in the last 90 days between 950 and 1.1 in Paso, there were seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. And the ones that I want to highlight are here so let's go back to the map and there's one over here kind of right off of uh, <clears throat> Vista Cerro on the eastern side of the uh, city boundary and this one sold for 995,000 bucks it's a four bedroom three bath this is a beautiful house up on the hill sold in a month it was listed for I think it was listed for about 1.2 initially uh, yeah 1.1 1.19 so just under 1.2 Let's take a look at it. So it's up on the top of Red Cloud Road and it is a four bedroom, two bath, uh, almost 2,100 square feet of living area. And the lot size, look at that, 33,000 square feet. That's uh, just a little bit under an acre. Two car garage built in 2014. And the photos are pretty nice. I didn't personally walk this home, but I know a lot of people that did and they said great things about it. It was a move-in ready, beautifully done on the inside. Photos were not the best in my opinion, but hey, that wasn't my listing. And here's the outdoor, great outdoor entertaining area. Look at these views of, uh, of the western portion of town. You got a little play, uh, kids play area there. And boy, those views are just immaculate. Holy moly, look at that. Even at nighttime, you could see all the downtown lights there. So that's one that sold for $9.95 in a month. Let's make me smaller again. And let's go take a look at something over on the highly coveted west side of town. Uh, this poor area of town off of uh, uh, Vine Street specifically is very desirable. These are, there's a ton of really, uh, really nicely renovated homes from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Let's pick one of them here. Let's go to this one on Oak Street. This was listed for 1.1, originally sold for 9.75. It took a little over three months. It was probably priced a little bit high, obviously, otherwise it would have sold faster. Three bedroom, one bath. It has an ADU, an additional dwelling unit that is presumably that it is um, an active short-term rental property. Both of them are, by the, by the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the photos. So this sold for 9.75, but you do get two properties with it. Nice old craftsman style, very nicely um, maintained on the inside. Looks like they got maybe the original wood floors. Looks like that's the, uh, the ADU in the back. Let's see what the inside photos continue to look like. Nice farmhouse sink. Nicely done, nicely done. There's the bathroom for the main house. 
And let's see what the guest house looks like, if there's any interior shots of that. Looks similar to the main house as far as quality and cleanliness. Yeah, that's cute. And there it is right there on <clears throat> on Oak Street. So that's a great part of town, highly desirable. But again, so 975, you're gonna get the main house, uh, 1,942 square feet. I don't know what the, the square footage is of the secondary unit, but um, maybe that's built in combined. Nice property there, but you really see a difference between uh, what you get in Paso compared to Morro Bay and uh, San Luis Obispo specifically. I mean, a million bucks in both of those towns really got you a, you know, a fixer upper of that or completely dated uh, property. So if you want your dollar to go a little bit further, then look up in uh, North County Paso specifically. If you have a lot of money to spend and uh, money left over after the purchase to do some upgrades, then by all means, uh, Morro Bay, uh, San Luis Obispo is where you might want to be. Um, then way down in South County, down in Napomo, um, pretty uh, nice homes as well for about a million bucks. So between Napomo and Paso, it looks like the dollar goes a little bit further. You get more square footage, you get nicer um, updated homes versus uh, Morro Bay and Slow. But uh, that's kind of my take on those four uh, towns. In Slow County, of course, there's many other areas. I'll do some future videos uh, on some of the other towns that are highly desirable as well. But until then, I will see you on the next video. And uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That really helps me out and helps the channel grow. So until then, I will see you on the next one.